If you've spent any amount of time in the Columbia River Gorge, you've felt it. The power of the wind across the dry and soon to be hot hills of the Eastern Gorge, electricity generating wind turbines dominate parts of the landscape. But the wind needed to turn the massive blades can be like the wildflowers, part of the landscape each spring, then gone. The wind comes on strong, then stops. It can happen when power demand is peaking. The challenge is finding a way to store wind and solar power. We need some type of large storage device. Ride Development hopes to meet that challenge. To use those new resources wisely and provide them to residences and commercial users when they actually need the electricity. One of the most efficient large storage devices in use around the world today is called pumped hydro storage. It's like a giant battery using water and gravity as its juice. They want to build one right here, high above the John Day Dam and about eight miles southeast of Goldendale, Washington. Right now, it's in the planning and permitting stage. So this project, when, once it's constructed, would be able to provide 12 hours of on-demand renewable electricity to 500,000 homes in the Pacific Northwest. When this project is complete, there'll be a 20-foot diameter pipe underground that runs from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir, which will be 2,000 feet below generating 1,200 megawatts of electricity. Here's how it works. Power generated by nearby wind and solar farms is used to pump water uphill into the upper reservoir. The flow is reversed and the water runs downhill through hydro turbines to generate power on demand. For example, on those hot summer days when the wind is not blowing. What really makes this project uh, relevant now is our push through policy and popular demand to move towards a low carbon or zero carbon grid. According to the EPA, carbon-based power sources like coal and natural gas add about a thousand pounds of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere for every megawatt hour produced. It's a major contributor to global warming. Supporters of the Goldendale Energy Project say it would eliminate the equivalent of more than 1.7 million tons of CO2 emissions every year. I think what excites me the most is being able to uh, work on a facility like this uh, in the Pacific Northwest where we're blessed enough to have the resources in hand, essentially homegrown resources for this type of energy storage. One of those resources is water. This will be a closed loop system, meaning that once built, the only water that needs to be added is to make up for the evaporation from the reservoirs. The nearly 200 days of sunshine in the Eastern Gorge will remove about 360 acre feet of water per year, enough to cover a football field to a height of 360 feet. And that's pretty small for a, a commercial project of this of this scale. If you think about the former aluminum smelter site here, it used about 8,000 acre feet of water. Uh, annually during operations. Dams, wind farms, and power lines have been part of the landscape here for decades. The pumped hydro storage project wouldn't have as much of an impact on the scenery. What you'd see is an upper and lower reservoir pictured in this graphic. It'd be one of the less obvious sources of renewable power in the gorge, and one that could take us a step closer to all renewable power in the West.